Well, now a bit of positive news. China has reported zero locally transmitted cases for the third straight day. Authorities say all 41 of the new confirmed cases were brought in from overseas. After weeks of fighting the disease with tough measures, China is now sharing its experience with the rest of the world and providing much needed supplies. From being at the receiving end of coronavirus aid from other nations to helping the rest of the world battle the disease. China has its domestic outbreak largely under control and is now supplying millions of masks and other badly needed items to struggling governments around the globe. Beijing hopes the aid will help build political ties and diffuse criticism that it was too slow in tackling the outbreak. For people in China, life has slowly been returning to something approaching normality, though many restaurants and shops are still carrying out temperature checks on customers. In the capital Beijing, shoppers voiced confidence in government measures to reduce imported cases by isolating arrivals from abroad. I see so many people here. I don't feel so worried because right now there's a standard approach to quarantining the imported cases of coronavirus and those who have come back from abroad. So I'm not that worried. Everyone is being very vigilant about those returning from overseas. We absolutely must not let our guard down. We cannot allow rebound in case numbers and so put to waste the achievements we've made and the battles we've won. As the pandemic engulfs the rest of the world, scenes like this offer a glimpse of how life can recover from the crisis. Let's go to China now. Correspondent Fabian Kretschmer is standing by for us. He is in Beijing. Fabian, it sounds like little by little Beijing and maybe the entire country starting to return to normal. Is that fair to say? Yeah, that's fair to say. I would call it not normal, but maybe the new normal. Um, I mean, the streets are filled by people now. I mean, it's not as crowded as it used to be, but let's say 60, 70 percent at least. Uh, people are also um, brave enough to take the subway. They um, go to restaurants. The shops are closing. Really, you can see uh, the capital here uh, waking up like every day a little bit more. Um, but of course, um, you have strict rules um, in, in restaurants, for example. They are only allowed to, to uh, take half of the um, customers, etc. And most people are still wearing face masks. So they are cautious, but um, yes, they are really feeling more safe now. Yeah, we can see in those pictures, I mean, pretty much everyone's still wearing a face mask because Theoretically, uh, there are still risks here, right? I mean, we, we heard there are still cases coming in from outside. Could all this increased movement lead to another outbreak? I mean, that's the dilemma. Uh, right now, um, China is becoming or turning into a virus-free zone as long as they are keeping the um, restrictions uh, up tight. And the, the restrictions are mostly for uh, people coming from outside. They have to go into centralized quarantine stations. That's really serious. Um, but as long as they keep this rule uh, intact, yes, uh, China could become basically virus-free. But as long as they relax or loosen up, loosen up these um, regulations, of course, the virus would spread immediately. Fabian Kretschmer reporting in Beijing, where people beginning to come out of hibernation there. Thank you very much.